contemporary circus has everything old. Flying, falling, grace, risk, sweat and injury and beauty, and moments of absolute fear. It has the realness of life meeting death, the seconds where time runs slow, and it still has, often if not always, the devil's virtuosity. Most of all, it has the quality of what you least expect. Because today the circus has been turned inside out. It's gone from being a closed art form, with skills handed down generationally, family to family, to an open, connective, experimental practice, seeking out new collaborators, new directions, yet holding to age-old ideas that were always there, under the hot lights and fanfare of circuses past. By questioning the basics, you get to the heart of it. How far can you strip back a trick? Can you juggle with ice? What if the circus tent itself was alive? Circus has stayed in the tent, the chapiteau, large and small, but it's spread as well into theatres, art galleries, museums, parks, forests, abandoned warehouses and forgotten fire stations, has appeared in towering steel structures and swung down the fronts of landmark buildings. It's been on the streets, but then it has always been on the streets. Circus was always on the borders of society. Now it's on the border of art forms. And something new has been born in an intermingled space where ideas are constantly tested against one another. It takes on elements of dance, martial arts, puppetry, extreme sports, tricking, mime, device theatre, and countless other forms. But while the approaches are manifold, all the artists are trying to do is find what's deepest and most fundamental in their art and how best to express it. Ask yourself, as they do, what is circus?